Hello guys, 99 overall here and today I'm going to be starting a new series just for the off season of the NFL and I thought I'd start off with uh, the Vikings, uh, talking about the Vikings stuff and then I can do like every team for every Friday and stuff like that. I know this video is kind of later, uh, it's about like almost 4 o'clock my time right now. I'll probably get this around 8 my time since it's standard time. But yeah, I'm going to talk about NFL stuff. If you guys want your team to be talked about next, let me know in the comments below and I will do it. So first of all, I'm going to talk about the Vikings, obviously got to wrap them. I wore my Anthony Barr shirt today, so yeah, that was fun. Uh, so today we're going to be talking talking about John D. Filippio. I always, I always like want to say it right the first time, but then I gotta think about it, and then it just gets weird. So in his career, he's uh, coached, uh, well, offensive quality coach uh, was for the New York Giants uh, for the 2005-2006 season. Um, I don't know how well he did there. It doesn't really matter. But Oakland Raiders 2002. 2007 to 2008, uh, he went 4-12 with the Raiders as the quarterbacks coach. Now with those quarterbacks, he's had Josh McCown and Jamarcus Russell. I think Russell was a uh, rookie, actually, and Josh McCown was a starter. Uh, the Raiders finished tied for third in the AFC West, though, so... 4 and 12, I guess, uh, as like a starting off, it's kind of rough. So, yeah, and then he went to the New York Jets, um, had a 9 and 7 record. Uh, not too bad, actually. Uh, his quarterbacks were not not the best. I mean, he had Mark Sanchez, probably the only guy that you guys would probably know. Yeah, and then he went back to the Raiders, uh, kind of reunited with them a little bit, went 4 and 12 again. And then finished last in the AFC West. Um, he also had Terrell Pryor, which is now a Redskins wide receiver. So you guys can see how well he developed there. He also had Carson Palmer and Derek Carr. It's kind of weird to think that Carson Palmer and Derek Carr were on the same team at one point. That just is so weird to me. I thought Carson Palmer was on the uh, Cardinals for at least seven years maybe i don't know maybe i'm just delusional right now then he went to the browns had three and 13 as his record the opposite record of what the vikings had this year uh he had johnny manzel with his quarterback i think he liked johnny manzel through the draft and stuff like that and as you guys can see johnny manzel didn't really do that well might do well in the xfl who knows uh otherwise his career is pretty much shot then his most recent gig was with the Philadelphia Eagles, 13-3, uh, first place in the NFC East. And that's the first time he's been in the first place and an NFC team. Uh, his quarterbacks are Carson Wentz and obviously the Super Bowl MVP Nick Foles. The Vikings, I wouldn't mind them signing Nick Foles. I don't think that the Eagles will let go of Nick Foles though. Uh, some teams will have to trade for him actually which will be interesting to see, like what teams will have to give up to get Nick Foles. Personally, I kind of wish that we would have got John DeFilippo. Uh, I'm just going to call him JDF for sure. I probably will mess up on that too, but whatever. Yeah, personally, I do like uh, John. I'll call him by his first name. How about that? Yeah, I, I personally do like him. Um, I think he has the right mindset uh, for the Vikings. I like his offensive schemes. I'm glad he's the coordinator, not just the quarterback's coach. Uh, the coordinator, I think he should do really well. I like the Philly special in the Super Bowl. That was pretty cool. I want to see some of that in Minnesota. I like their play formations too, uh, how that stuff worked out. Delvin Cook should have a big year. Uh, Teddy Bridgewater looks like he might stay with the Vikings uh, because John, John described on what his perfect QB would be or his ideal QB and Teddy fits all those categories case fits those categories pretty much Sam Bradford I think he's walking to be honest uh, let me go let me know what you guys think in the comments um yeah so John DeFilippo he's uh our offensive coordinator so yeah that's awesome don't know what the Eagles are gonna do that'll be interesting so yeah, I just wanted to make a short little video on John DeFilippo. I say his last name so weird, but whatever. I gotta pronounce it. So yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, please do leave a like. Comment down below which team you guys want me to talk about. It could be like your Broncos, 
your Jets, your Cowboys, your Patriots, your Eagles, your freaking Packers. I don't know. I'll talk about, like, what they need in the draft and stuff like that. Uh, I just want to talk about John here for a little bit because I want to get the news out, right? I mean, it's already out, but yeah. So if you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like, comment down below, and yeah, I'll see you guys later. Remember, be your best. I'm so, I'm so